All right, I just came back from the used movie store. Let's see what I picked up. What is up, everybody? I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Yes, uh, I was getting a few slip covers printed, and right next to it is a Beat Goes On. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me peruse. Let me see if uh, there's anything cool. And uh, there was many things cool. Uh, you know, I saw a few things and uh, that really piqued my interest. Starting off with, is there a two for six deal? If you buy if you buy two Blu-rays that are you know you know not the most what's it called, like sought after or kind of, oh my gosh, not the most, you know, grandiose or rare or boutique or something like that. You can get a, a Blu-ray for $2 or $3 each. So depending on the movie, you can find it for really cheap. And these are some movies that I've actually been meaning to watch. Uh, it was uh, starting off with the first movie. Uh, it was David Cronenberg's birthday recently, and I wanted to celebrate it, and I picked up a History of Violence on Blu-ray. Now this doesn't have a 4K yet. I'm pretty sure Kino Lorber will release a 4K soon, hopefully. They did release Eastern Promises on 4K and I absolutely love this movie. So and I heard it's in the, kind of the same vein, not really, maybe. But uh, it also stars Viggo Mortensen and I have to check this out because I loved his other, uh, what's it called, crime thriller. So hopefully this is in the same vein. And it has some pretty decent uh, reviews for it. And the cast is absolutely excellent. You got Viggo Mortensen, Ed Harris. So that sounds like a really good time. And for, for $3, the two for six deal, it's pretty good, depending on what they have in stock at the time and that kind of stuff. But uh, so I don't know why this is, uh, this was so cheap. Maybe it's going on 4K soon. Maybe it's just like, I don't know. It's just like a, was it an older Blu-ray? Let me see, I didn't even check. It's a 2009 Blu-ray, so it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't look that bad. I've experienced Blu-rays from the early generation of Blu-rays from like 2006 and seven, where they look absolutely terrible. But I think 2008 and nine, especially for, Movies that came out within that same, uh, you know, two, three year vicinity should uh, turn out really well. This movie was made when? It was made 2005. So yeah, it should be good. You know, I've, I've had movies made in 2002, 2003, 2001. Like again, the worst Blu-ray looking Blu-ray wise in my collection is Gangs of New York. That looks terrible. It looks like a VHS rip. But uh, History of Violence, hopefully this looks good. Hopefully it's a good movie. You know, I've heard, I've heard decent things about it. And uh, David Cronenberg, goodness, ooh. I really like this artwork, this disc artwork. It's like a, it's like a chamber. It's like a what's it called, revolver, and uh, two bullets or one bullet is missing. So that's cool. And obviously, because it spins, it's like that. So that's actually really, really good artwork. I actually really like this artwork. Wow, this is. See, guys, see what happens when you actually invest in good artwork. It makes the experience of buying the movie more. Uh, intriguing and more enticing. Now, does this come with a slipcover? Who knows? But maybe I'll make one. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But yeah, History of Violence is the first pickup. Um, David Cronenberg, goodness. The other pickup that I got for two for six is a movie from my childhood that I own actually the VHSs of, and that is the Shanghai uh, Noon Trilogy or a Duology, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. Absolutely love Shanghai Noon. Uh, it's just a really fun comedy. The the chemistry that Jackie Chan has with Owen Wilson is just unparalleled. Well, I guess besides with Chris Tucker, but I feel like the, the chemistry they have with each other is a bit kind of like, uh, they don't, I don't know, like, I kind of I like, I kind of prefer the chemistry with Owen Wilson and uh, Jackie Chan more, I think. I think Owen Wilson is a more comedic actor. In my opinion, some people might like uh, Chris Tucker's uh, comedy. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But Owen Wilson is absolutely hilarious in this. It's some actually decent fight scenes in this. And when it comes to the first one, at least as a Western movie, it's actually it's actually pretty pretty decent. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I watched the first movie recently, and it was actually a pretty good movie. I, I saw a bit of the second one. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I watched the first five ten minutes of it. I'm like, eh, I don't like the way the story is going. But uh, I guess they had to like rush a sequel out because the first one did well. But uh, yeah, the collection, the two movie collection, Shanghai, oh my god, what the hell? Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Heights. I'm pretty sure, I was, I was expecting this to be like this and this, but no, it's like this, 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 and this. So, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Heights, Nights. Um, again, love the first one. I'm excited to re rediscover this, the second one again because I wasn't the biggest fan, but hopefully now, with a, I guess a, a fresher pair of eyes to comedy films, I'll give it more of an appreciation besides just think of it as like a, like a fun action film. Even though there is a lot of fun action, it's just, I don't know, I don't like the, the kind of setup that that made towards the plot. 
Same with Rush Hour 3. I wasn't the biggest fan of Rush Hour 3. Uh, Max Foncino is in that. But anyways, uh, the Shanghai 2 film collection. Added that to the collection for 3 bucks. Yeah, sure. And now this is the meat and potatoes of this, um, of this video. Because I don't know if I want to continue doing these. Or this, because these are my favorite movies from uh, this publisher. And uh, that is A24. Uh, there was a bunch of A24 movies with the slip covers for about... About $12 a pop, $14 a pop. Now, that might be a lot, but with a slipcover, and these are really good artwork for it, so I thought, I haven't really seen these in the wild anywhere else, so I thought I might as well pick it up. Starting off with is, It Follows on Blu-ray for $7.99. Now, this is, this was harder to decipher if it was a uh, A24 film. I googled it, and it was, because there's no A24 insignias on anywhere of the cases. Uh, I think the publishing company is called Mongrel, in uh, in Canada, so you don't really get the uh, the A24 logos on it. It's called Mongrel here in Canada, so who knows? Some of these have A24 logos, some of them don't. But I actually heard this is a really good film, really good horror film. So you know, I like to add uh, horror to the collection. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of horror, even though that's what really s kind of started my movie watching experience was horror movies and the uh, and superhero movies. Now I've grown into, you know, other things, but uh, it follows with the slipcover for about $7.99. That's a, that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, so now, I don't know, do I want to collect every A24 Blu-ray with a slipcover? That sounds like a very steep hill that I'd have to, um, what's it called? I think I'll buy every movie that I actually do enjoy. Uh, I saw a bit of this on Netflix and it was actually really good, you know, because I don't really, I don't really watch movies blindly, blindly. Like sometimes I'll watch maybe the first 5, 10, 20 minutes. And then, you know, I'll, I'll save the rest for a Blu-ray quality screening. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I don't really go in blind blind. So, but there are some movies where I've gone in where I haven't even, you know, watched a single second of it. I just watch, I just buy it from word of mouth. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, first A24 slipcover. It follows on Blu-ray. Very nice. Next one. This came out when I was working at the movie theater. I think it's a Greta, it's a Greta Gerwig film. I heard actually really good things about this. And the slipcover artwork is really cool. And that is Lady Bird on Blu-ray. Uh, not the front. The front I can give or take. But the side. I don't know if you can see the side. The spine. And then that kind of color tiling kind of continues onward to the back. And then towards the other spine. That is really cool. Uh, I heard really good things. I think this won an Oscar, right? So I'm not sure. Maybe Best Supporting Actress. Who knows? Uh, but it, did, it was only, it was $14, it was, a bit, it was a bit on the expensive side, but I remember her hearing really good things about this film, and I just love Saoirse Ronan. So, for A24, I uh, had to add to the collection, because I've been, you know, A24 made one of my favorite movies of all time, Everything Ever All at Once, so, and that recently won an Oscar, thankfully, you know. So, more A24 goodness in the collection. I do have men already in the 4K, in the, in the Blu-ray, sorry, collection, so. Add one more to the, to the, to the pack. And then this was a film, again, that I saw the first bit of it, and I, I, I really enjoyed it. Starring Barry Keegan, uh, Nicole Kidman, and Colin Farrell, and that is The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Uh, I saw the first five minutes of it and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really, really, I just love the vibe of it. The cinematography looked great. So uh, when I saw it with the slip cover uh, for $14.99, I thought I had to pick it up again. Because I think like, what's it called? It won Con Festival's, Con Festival's uh, Best Screenplay. And when it comes to, I think, A24, it's like, it's kind of like the boutique of, you know, standard uh, studio releases. So I thought, you know what? Killing of a Sacred Deal, Deer? pick it up on blu-ray will these get 4ks maybe will i uh will i um what's it called regret buying these maybe who knows who knows what the the, the future will see i do really like this artwork i'm not a big the biggest fan of this blu-ray digital copy uh logo on there or the banner maybe if it just said blu-ray or something like that i would have liked it more but uh killing of a sacred deal deer i don't like saying deal killing of a chinese bookie okay <laughs> Next one is uh, one I've seen all the way through. I saw this in the theater before I even knew what uh, A24 was or what an art film was or whatever 
was, and um, and uh, the person gave five dollars for this when they sold it to the beat goes on. Uh, the slip cover is uh, pretty dinged up, but it was a film that I really enjoyed. This is the American version. Uh, this is the Canadian, but there's no French on it. And that is The Disaster Artist, uh, The Making of the Room movie. I uh, absolutely love this movie when it came out. Uh, hilarious, again, because, you know, being a... Uh, uh, a kid of the early 2000s, uh, the memes were everywhere, you know, Nostalgia Crick reviewing The Room made it huge and blew it up more than, you know, a lot of people give him credit for, so The Disaster Artist on Blu-ray, uh, maybe untimely, um, casting of James Franco as the main character, but, uh, but yeah, The Disaster Artist on Blu-ray, with the slip, had to pick that up, uh, yeah, Golden Globe winner for Best Actor, uh, was James Franco, I guess, okay, but yeah, uh, Really like this movie, and there's a heckin' Pugarino on the back, so why wouldn't I pick it up? And then the last pickup really made my day uh, because I've been looking for this movie everywhere. Uh, this will 100% get a 4K, but I just wanted to watch it because I did watch the first five minutes of it on on a website, and I thought I really love this. Love me some uh, Robert Eggers. You probably know what's coming up next, and that is The Lighthouse on Blu-ray. With the slip, uh, I know uh, there's been a lot of rumors saying that this is 4K, but I feel like if I keep waiting to watch a movie and waiting for the 4K, I'm never going to watch the movie. So, you know, for $12 for uh, A24 film with the slip cover, The Lighthouse, I heard so many fantastic things about this that I, I, I decided to pick it up on Blu-ray, really commit to actually watching these movies because I, I just love Robert Eggers. I love his visual style, I love his storytelling style. And I heard this was like like the like the biggest comebacks for Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Even though they had, you know, films prior to that, uh, like like Good Time and that kind of stuff. I just heard nothing but fantastic things about this. I heard it was an Oscars snub and I wanna see what all the hype is about. So I did add The Lighthouse to the collection. So that was today's pickups. Got a few cheap Blu-rays then got a bunch of A24 Blu-rays to the collection. So, thank you for watching another video of mine. I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, please have yourself a good day. And until I see you guys next time, uh, have a good one, along with physical media. See you guys. Peace.